This episode of the Fiction Writers Podcast is brought to you by How to Write a Novel That Sells. Do you dream of writing a best-selling fiction novel? With the right tools, you could get there sooner than you think. Visit www.howtowriteanovelthatsells.com and unlock the secrets to writing compelling fiction taught by international best-selling author Lana McCara. Welcome to the Fiction Writers Podcast with Lana McCara, where you will discover tips, tricks, and ideas for fiction that is hashtag unputdownable. Here you'll find new energy, new perspectives, new resources, and new ideas that will spark your creativity into a blaze of brilliance. It's easier than you think. Be sure you visit our website at www.fictionwriterspodcast.com. While you're there, subscribe to us via your favorite network. Now, get out your notebook, tune in, and let's get started. Have you ever heard of the rule of three? That's a writing principle that goes for fiction and nonfiction, academic papers, all of it. And if you haven't heard of that, this is a great, great episode for you to listen to today. My name is Lana McCara. Welcome to the Fiction Writers Podcast. Tips, tricks, and ideas for fiction that is hashtag unputdownable. The rule of three says that when you have a, a grouping or a list, three items are the most powerful. He came, he saw, he conquered. That's three statements, and they're short and succinct, and they, they have a rhythm to them. They are parallel in their construction. He came, he saw, he conquered. So the rule of three says you wouldn't add another one, a fourth one onto that, or a fifth one. You would just use the three. You would also not do two. Two isn't strong enough, but three is the perfect number. I guess you could say ask Nikola Tesla. He'll tell you. <laughs> so the rule of three says use three items in a list. Now, it doesn't necessarily have to be a list like we would think of in a sentence, although it could be. She went to the dresser, pulled out a, a, a notebook, and wrote down her, her um, idea. So that's a list of three actions that she took. She went to the dresser, pulled out a notebook, wrote down the idea. That's an example of the rule of three. Another example. And so when you have a, a list or some items that are happening in a row, use three. And this is something that is an old truism. You know, it's nothing new. But here's something that I wanted to bring up that maybe you haven't thought of, even if you do know about the rule of three, and that is events. So, for example, if you are in a suspenseful situation, maybe you're writing a suspense novel, a horror story, something where people are going to get, you know, really intense, to have three events leading up to the big event, which would be number three, but you have two false alarms first. And you see this happen in movies all the time. Pay attention. When something jumps out and it's their little brother trying to scare them with a boo, you know, that would be one. The second one would be when they are um, at home alone and they hear the front door and they're not expecting anyone. But it's their sister. So that's two. And then the third one is somebody breaks into the house and is actually after them. That's three. So that is also used in the rule of three. Two false alarms. The third one is the real scary thing that happens. So you're, you're sort of building tension in the reader. And those events don't have to happen anywhere near each other. One of them could happen in chapter one. Another one could happen in chapter 10. And the third one could happen in chapter 25. But you have three of them in a sequence. The same goes for clues. You don't necessarily have to have three clues, but three of the same kind. Or three times the person thought, the, the sleuth or the inspector or whoever, thought they had it. Before the third time, they really did. Or maybe three um, suspects. So they go after suspect number one, they find out that's not the person. They go after suspect number two, that's not the person. Suspect three is the real person. So that's the rule of three spread out over 
the distance of the book, not necessarily within the same paragraph or, you know, the sentence or whatever. So think about the rule of three when you are constructing your novel. Do you have a suspenseful part in there that would be sort of foreshadowing? You could do two foreshadowings and one real event. Or maybe somebody gets killed and they have two, two near misses before three and actually they die. It could be anything like that. So the rule of three helps with suspense. It helps with uh, the mystery. It, it helps in a lot of ways. So when you're putting your book together, think about how you can use the rule of three. And if you're doing description or describing some actions, also think of the rule of three. It will really strengthen your writing and your reader won't even have any idea about what you're doing, but a canny editor definitely will. I hope that helps you today. My name is Lana McCara. See you next time. Thank you for tuning into the Fiction Writers Podcast with Lana McCara, where we share tips, tricks, and ideas for fiction that is hashtag unputdownable. Remember to visit our website at www.fictionwriterspodcast.com and enjoy even more great episodes like this one. Again, while you're here, subscribe to us via your favorite network. We look forward to seeing you next time on the Fiction Writers Podcast.